Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to graph this complex kind of uh, sine function in a step-by-step -step approach. The very first thing I want to make sure that just look at this standard form which is what y equal to a sine of bx plus c and finally plus d. We are going to compare this with our original given function and we'll find out a b c and d and with the help of those parameters we will find out amplitude period sinusoidal axis vertical shift and phase shift so the next step is we're going to compare uh, this our given function with the standard form that is tell us that a equals to three and then b equal to how much uh, x over 2 is same as 1 over 2 times x so that means b turns out to be 1 over 2 and c is how much pi over 4 and finally d is simply negative 5. so given those values now we're going to figure out all these amplitude and so on look at the formulas on the right hand side they're going to help us a lot so the amplitude is simply the absolute value of a which is 3 so that's going to be our amplitude is 3 our period is always what 2 pi over the absolute value of b which is what 1 over 2 once you simplify that that's going to give us 4 pi so our period turns out to be 4 pi and then our sinusoidal axis is simply y equals to d which is d is how much negative 5 by the way sinusoidal axis is in other words we also call it midline central line central axis or equilibrium line so from this one our vertical shift is just the same thing this is going to give us vertical shift which is how much which is going to be five units negative tells you that it's going to be a downward so i'm going to put down down so now we're going to see how this graph is going to look like how much maximum it could go and how minimum it could go maximum you just put down whatever your y is negative 5 plus your the absolute value of your amplitude is 3 so that's going to give us negative 2 so our maximum is going to be negative 2 and our minimum is going to be a negative 5 and then minus the absolute value of amplitude so that's going to be minus 5 and negative 3 makes negative 8 that's gonna be our minimum of the graph now we will do phase shift in a moment let's take care of the increment increment is if you look at it this is simply period in our case period is what 4 pi and you always divide it by 4 which is gonna give you pi so that is gonna be our increment now we want to do the starting point of the given function that means the starting point of the graph so in order to get the starting point i want you to put down whatever inside this parentheses whatever this quantity is i want you to set that one equal to zero so i'm going to put down x over 2 plus pi over 4 set it equal to 0 and solve for x so that means our x is going to become what negative pi over 2 so that means that's gonna be our starting point now this starting point is originally essentially this is same as our phase shift so this is same as what phase shift so you don't have to worry about this negative sign you just put down the phase shift is simply what pi over 2 and negative sign tells you that this is gonna be which way it's gonna be towards left 
So that's all you have to do. Now the next step we want you to, I want you to do is we want to see how the graph is going to look like. We're going to do the rough kind of uh, homework before we draw it. We could sketch the graph. I want you to put down this number line. I want you to, we want to take a five points approach. I want you to put down five point number one right up here, two, three, four, and what? Five points. So we got our five points approach. Our starting point is what? Negative what? Pi over two. This is our starting point. This is what it is. And then our increment means how much we're going to incre increase or add to get the next point. So that's a pi. So, but we want to add to pi over 2. I'm going to make its denominator as same as this one. So I can write 2 pi over 2. So I want to add 2 pi over 2 to this one. So in other words, what I'm doing is I'm adding 2 pi over 2. Once you add this thing, that's going to give you 1 pi over 2. Once again, I want you to add 2 pi over 2 to this thing. That's going to give you 3 pi over 2. And then again, you add 2 pi over 2 which is your increment that's going to become 5 pi over 2 and then finally your end point is going to be 7 pi over 2. So these are our real really important kind of five points that's going to help us a lot in sketching our graph. Now, the next thing, I want you to look at this thing on the right-hand side, how a basic sine function or the sine graph looks like. This looks like over here. Once again, you can see the five points over here. So the five point, the first point, the starting point is start with what? It intercepts or intersects x-axis so I call it intercept I stands so for intercept on the next point it gives you a maximum then the next point is going to give you intercept and then the next point is going to give you a minimum and the final end point is going to give you intercept so I'm going to put down these exactly same way that means the starting point is going to be I right up here and this is going to give you what maximum point this is going to give you what i and this is going to give you minimum point and this is going to give you what intercept that is all you need this is called a five point rule so we finally what we'll do is we will graph this function so let's go ahead and graph now the function. So here is our x-axis and y-axis and I just simply plotted, put down those five points that we did in the previous step. And now the next step, I want you to make sure that our sinusoidal axis, in other words, S A is simply y equals to what? negative 5 so I just went ahead and drew this uh, this uh, line at y equals to negative 5 and you also know that we have what the maximum point is at y equals to negative 2 so the maximum point is right up here y equals to negative 2 and uh, the minimum point is going to be right up here. Minimum is y equals to negative 8. So these are the points. I just want to make sure these are the points that we will be looking at. So once again, this is y equals to negative 5 is our central axis or we call it sinusoidal axis negative 2 y equals to negative 2 is our maximum and y equals to negative 8 is our 
minimum right up here. You can see that one. Now we're going to go ahead and simply put down those points. Now we know that our this point over here, negative pi over 2, we know that this is going to be intercept. We know that this is our what? Intercept. This is our what? Maximum. This is intercept. This is minimum. And this is what? Intercept. So the very first point over here is going to be what? It is going to be intercept right here on our sinusoidal axis. This is our intercept. Then at this point over here, our maximum point is going to be right up here. And then our, the, our next point is going to be our intercept right as you can see and then at this point 5 pi over 2 this is going to become our minimum right up here and then finally at 7 pi over 2 this become our intercept so this is gonna be right up here so now we simply we're going to go ahead and plot this one over here. So see right now, I just want to take my time. I want you to just go ahead and graph. I'm not a good artist, so please bear with me. So this is essentially our function, which is a sine function, and this is the graph, by the way, okay? And this keeps going on and on and on, like this one over here on this side, and it could go downward like this one. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.